Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can write an exponential function using two points that are on our exponential function. So it says write the function in the form y equals a times b to the x that passes through 1, 10, and 340. So what are 1, 10, and 340? Those are x and y values. So we can actually use both of those points and write two separate equations and to help us figure out what our function should be. So I'm going to start off with 1, 10. So I have my equation here in the form y equals a times b to the x. So I'm going to plug in 10 for y. So 10 is equal to a times b to the first power, right? I plugged in 10 for y and x, or 1 for x. All right, now let's write a similar equation, but let's use 3 comma 40. So now I'm going to say 40 is equal to a times b to the third power. Now, let's take a look at our first equation, and let's solve that equation for a. All right, so we have 10 equals a times b to the first, which is essentially just 10 equals a times b, because b to the first is just b. Now, if I divide both sides by b, we get a is equal to 10b, okay? So now, I can use 10b. Let's actually just put a box around, not 10b, but 10 over b. And let's take that and let's plug it in right there for a, right? Because it's what a is equal to. Now, we have... 40 is equal to 10 divided by b times b, let's fix that parentheses there, 10 divided by b times b cubed. So now we can use a little bit of our exponent rules, right? We have a b cubed in the numerator of this fraction. We have a b in the denominator, meaning we can subtract those exponents. And that's just going to give us a 10b squared. So now we can divide both sides by 10, and we get 4 is equal to b squared. Now we know we can take the square root of both sides. Okay, so now when we do that, when we introduce the square root, we do have to take into account the fact that square root of four could be positive four or negative four, all right? But what do we know about exponential functions? We know that b has to be greater than zero. So that takes us with b being negative two, and we can say b is not negative two because b has to be greater than zero. Meaning that the only logical answer for b is b is equal to two. So now we have y is equal to a times two to the x power. Well, what is a? Well, we know a is 10 divided by b. Well, what is b? b is two. So we can say a is equal to 10 divided by two, so a is equal to five. And now we have the two pieces of information we need to write our equation, and it would be y equals five times two to the x power. So that is how you can use two points that are on your exponential function to write an equation in y equals a times b to the x form.